Hermione always claimed to know it all, but what about you? Prove how much you really know about Miss Granger both in the books and movies in our magical awesome movies quiz. Let's start off with a super duper easy question to get you going. There's no doubt that there's beef between Draco Malfoy and Hermione ever since the first moment they laid eyes on each other. However, there's one particular insult that he hurls at her quite frequently. Is it A. Muggle B. Mudblood C. Muppet No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. Well, at least Hermione got to sock him a good one for all the name calling. <laughs> oh. 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 On to the next question. Everyone knows that Hermione's surname is Granger, but do you know what her middle name is? Is it A. Sybil, B. Viola, C. Jean, D. She has no middle name. The correct answer is C. Jean, as revealed in the Deathly Hollows. Hermione Jean Granger. Kinda has a nice ring to it. All right, let's move on. In Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, we encounter a more mature and adult Hermione. Naturally, she's now joined the working world and has a job to pay the bills. But what does she do? That's right, she's a minister of magic. Phew. Some of these questions have been pretty tough, so let's slow down the difficulty level a bit. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Hermione drank the Polyjuice Potion. But what did it turn her into? A weird cat-human hybrid! Look at my face. Heck, she could have practically been a cast member from the musical Cats here. And speaking of animals, the next question is all about Hermione's Patronus. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, we finally found out which Patronus she can conjure. So, is it A, an owl, B, a dog, C, an otter, D, a sparrow? Ding, ding! The right answer is C, an otter. And it's a mighty cute one at that. Throughout the Harry Potter series, Hermione showed that she wasn't afraid to do the hard thing, even if it broke her own heart. One of the most painful things she ever did was to cast a memory charm on her parents, to make them forget they had a daughter and keep them safe from the war that was about to come. Obliviate. But where did she send her parents to? If you guessed Australia, then give yourself an extra point just for being awesome! As everyone knows by now, Hermione and Ron ended up together as a couple. They wed and had two beautiful children. But do you remember both their names? Rose and Hugo. And if you notice, the children have the same initials as their parents. Aw, isn't that sweet? Now, the next question is a sad one, since it'll force us to relive the death of Dumbledore, something that no Harry Potter fan enjoys. In Dumbledore's will, he left special items for several individuals, but what did he leave for Hermione? The Tales of Beetle the Bard! And you just know that Hermione must have devoured its contents in just one evening. Now, here's a bit of a trickier question that only true Potterheads will know. J.K. Rowling revealed who she used as inspiration for the creation of Hermione. So, who was it? Herself! Rowling has admitted that writing the character feels slightly autobiographical as the two are very similar. However, Hermione is slightly more exaggerated. Keeping on the topic of J.K. Rowling, do you know what was supposed to be Hermione's original surname? Was it A. Punter B. Puckle C. Pickle D. Pecker And the answer is... B. Puckle Well, thank goodness that Rowling had some common sense and changed this surname. Because, um, yeah. Let's take a look at the Philosopher's Stone movie now. Hermione appears relatively early in it as she encounters Harry and Ron for the first time. But what was her first line in the film? Has anyone 
not seen a toad. A boy named Neville's lost one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! And the good news is that Neville did find his toad Trevor in the end. Now, we know how important birthdays are in Harry Potter. And hey, who doesn't love a good birthday celebration? Especially if there's a lot of ice cream cake. But do you have any idea when Hermione's birthday is? Don't worry about the year, just the date here. September 19th. Well, you better mark it down in your diary and don't forget to wish her the happiest birthday. Okay, let's play two rounds of true or false now. Hermione's Boggart is losing all her books. True or false? False! Her Boggart is actually failure, as revealed when Professor McGonagall tells her she's failed her exams. Next question. Hermione's parents are dentists. True or false? True. Mr. and Mrs. Granger are the best people to see if you want a pure white smile. Everyone hates a school subject or two. In some cases, we just detest school entirely. Hermione, though, loved to have her nose in a book, but there was one subject that she just couldn't stand at all. Was it A, transfiguration, B, divination, C, muggle studies, D, defense against the dark arts? High five if you picked B. Seriously, Hermione hated divination with a passion. Must look beyond. What a load of rubbish. Right. Final question time. So let's end this off on a winning note, okay? Hermione loves nothing more than to prove she's the best at everything. But do you know how much she scored in her charms test in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? One hundred and twelve percent. Oh, well done. See here, everyone. This great has done it. <laughs> Splendid. But how is this even possible? Well, it's because she read every textbook back to front and received extra credit for it. Oh, now she's just showing off, isn't she? So tell us, how many answers did you get right without having to Google it? Let us know in the comments section down below. And while you're at it, don't forget to check out some of our other hilarious Harry Potter videos. Thanks for watching and stay awesome.